This is Amira, my daughter. She is seven years old. She was a healthy kid, leading a normal life like all normal children. So, when she fell ill and the doctor informed us that it was leukemia, we were shocked. We couldn't imagine how her life would change after that. At a very young age, Amira was one of hundreds of Malaysians who are diagnosed with leukemia every year. Leukemia is a type of blood cancer that occurs when there is abnormal increase of white blood cells in the blood and or bone marrow. This condition can affect people from all ages, including young and old. At that time, we started to have concerns over future because we didn't know whether she could or could not be saved and how much longer she would live. Everything was running through our minds. We were really worried about her condition. Since Amira does not have sibling, the doctor told us that she could be saved through a stem cell transplant taken from a registered donor. Only God knows how relieved we were to hear the news that Amira could still have a shot at life. Even though we never heard of this transplant, we kept our faith in it as it is the only way that we could try to cure her illness. Leukemia patients like Amira can be cured with a stem cell donation from healthy people like you. And you are more than capable to lend a helping hand to them. Treatment for leukemia involves chemotherapy and or radiotherapy. And in certain cases, patients will need to undergo a stem cell transplant if there is a compatible donor either among siblings or volunteer donor. There are two ways to donate stem cell, but the most common is through peripheral blood. According to statistics given by WHO, in the year 2000, there are approximately 256,000 children and adults around the world who have developed some form of leukemia and 209,000 have died from it. In Malaysia, the numbers of people diagnosed are rising each year. In an effort to counter this problem, the National Cancer Council or MAGNA and the Institute for Medical Research formed the Malaysia Stem Cell Registry, which is a database or registry of volunteers from all over Malaysia who are willing to donate their stem cells. Its mission is to collect the data of stem cell volunteer donors and listing it in the computerized database or registry as a resource and a possible avenue for an unrelated stem cell transplant. It is also a reference center for physicians in Malaysia and all over the world who wants to search for a compatible volunteer stem cell donor for their patients who require a stem cell transplant but don't have any compatible sibling. Individuals aged 18 to 50 years old, healthy without any infectious or chronic diseases, are welcome to register at MSCR. A briefing session on information about MSCR will be given individually or in group. After the briefing sessions, interested volunteers can start registering by filling up and signing medical survey and personal information forms. After that, 10 ml of blood will be taken for testing. Blood tests will be conducted at the Institute for Medical Research. This test is known as human leukocyte antigen typing using volunteers' DNA and the latest scientific method based on polymerase chain reaction. 
test results and volunteers' information will be stored in IMR's computerized database. Increase in numbers of volunteers registered with MSCR can be seen in Malaysia. Every year, there are about 1,000 to 1,500 increment in the numbers of volunteers recorded. And up until September 2011, the number of volunteers registered with MSCR exceed 18,000 Malaysians. However, the chances of finding a compatible donor depends on the size of the registry. The larger the registry, the higher the chance of finding a compatible donor. That is why we need more people to register in MSCR. Compatibility is determined by identifying certain proteins on the cell surface called human leukocyte antigens or HLA. A small amount of blood is required for this. A match occurs when the six HLA antigens found on the patient's white blood cells match the six antigens found on the potential donor's white blood cells. When a match is found between a donor and a patient, a blood will be taken from the volunteer for testing. After that, a counselling session and a physical test will be conducted by a hematology specialist to make sure the volunteer is aware of the transplant process and she or he is in good physical condition. Once all the process are finished, volunteers' blood will be taken using air phrases machine from the left arm for stem cell oscillation. Other blood components will be returned back through the right arm. The whole donation process is entirely voluntary. After completing the stem cell transplant, which is a very delicate process especially for a child, Amira is now cured and she is leading a normal life again. Now, our lives are filled with her joy and laughter again. We now understand and realise the importance of volunteers, especially those who really care, and we would like to express our gratitude to all who have registered at the MSER. Your contribution is priceless. As a doctor, I really hope that this story will open the eyes of Malaysians so that they can realise the significance of this contribution and how much it means to the people who are in need. I hope more people will come forward and register themselves in MSCR. This will not only increase the chance of finding a compatible stem cell donor, but it will also give hope to patients who are desperately require stem cell transplant.